Okay, there we go. Took a break. Okay. Dorian. Divine Victoria. Cole. This is the crossroads. Morrigan brought me here while showing me the alluvians. I'd forgotten all the colors. Examine this one. Judging by the blood stains, he tried to get through here. This mirror doesn't look broken, but it's inactive. Maybe there's a way to unlock it. Well, somebody got lost. There was a section of the crossroads and I wasn't though. Doesn't look particularly elfy. Somebody's redecorated. I don't like it. Not the correct mirror, but I'm going through. Even places that aren't anymore. Book of Butterflies. Celebration of your 20th anniversary. Honest with all witches. Um, the far future, a disparate group of men and women from all corners of the land battle together to end an unstoppable evil. These bold, as these bold adventurers go for from traveling companions to friends, will their secrets and desires tear them apart? Cloud Lunale, an ancient elf pulled out of time, this brawny warrior scholar seeks only to return to her liege in the distant past. But the voices calling her forward aren't what they seem. Ren, the mysterious thief, uses singing taverns while deftly lifting items from the wealthy. Many have fallen in love with the diminutive heartbreaker, but Ren has a dangerous pact with a sinister figure in the shadows. Lancaster Marlowe, a gifted but eccentric mage, traveling the wider world for the first time. Marlowe's ambition for power is matched only by an uncanny ability to thrust his new acquaintances into danger. Elena Brightstone, a knight of lowly birth under mis of low birth under a mysterious curse. The idealistic Brightstone seeks to bring honor to her family name while divesting herself of the calamitous death magic that may doom everything she holds dear. Tilka An orphan of great resolve, young Tilka seeks to restore the balance of magic in the world. To do that, she must seek guidance from her foster parents. If she can find a way back to the surface of the moon. Not all may survive their journeys, for these are the perils in a land unrecognizable, a time immemorial. Join them in the moonlight on the Feast of Shadows at the end of the Thirteenth Age. Enjoy the book, my dear. It's Lord Fleming's most ambitious yet. I'm not sure what a moon whale is, and at times there's a scandalous amount of attention paid to young men's Backsides, but I doubt that'll put you off in the slightest. Um, loot. If I touch obsidian, that's always good. 
Put something over here. Um... I don't see my, um, normal things. Elf smash, maybe. Get your butt over here. This is a weird fight. That's the weirdest fight I've been in in a long time. Okay. It's a hand that cuts. Okay. Okay, here we go. On to the plot. Oh boy. That's where we're heading. <sighs> I will be ending this tonight, though, I think. I don't think I could take another week of... Elven ruins. Mm. I'm not sure we're even in Orlais anymore. I don't know where we are. Another Canari, dressed like the one in the Winter Palace. They must be from the same faction. Both girded for war. That's not good. Out this passage and go through this alluvion. Okay, can't really get through that yet. I mean, you could send the Vivian through.
Okay, yeah, we're a little far away. Old murals. Okay. Kind of want to turn on the no damage mod just to go, maybe go there. Well, I'll be there soon enough, I think. Yeah, I'll be there soon enough. Scorch uh. marks everywhere. This is the work of a mage. The expended energy is remarkable. I'd say the spell was cast within the past hour. We need to find out why these Kunari were here, and who did this to them. Oh, and I'm taking the Divine with me. This is going to go well. I'm taking the Divine with me. Over there, Kunari. If we want to know why they're here, we've got to get across to that island. How they're using the Alluvians. The elves bound a spirit here. It feels old. Very old. What does it want? I think I know what to say. Armelana de Thavarith. Rivas Viranaris. Ame Lathalas. Yes, good. It was part of a ritual, a secret greeting from those Fenharel trusted. If Mithal's Well of Sorrows knew this, were they close? Friends or. I'm not sure. Well, be honest. Um. His statue was uh, in her temple. So I would say, um, possibility that they were very close. I'm just glad uh, I didn't have to, you know, fight them. A wash of powerful magic carries an impression of welcome. Images flash by, often slaves fleeing to this place in ancient times, greeted by others who tend to their wounds. Words are not so much heard as felt. Fenharal builds, bids you welcome. Rest, knowing the dread wolf guards you and his people guard this valley. In this place you are free, and trusting us, you will never be bound again. That was like Veilfire. It claimed this was a refuge for elven slaves. Yes, I can feel their pain. They came here hurt, hungry. This was help, a new home. This whole valley was a sanctuary created by the dread wolf Fen Harel. This doesn't make sense. In Dalish legends, Fen Harel is our god of misfortune. Or a prankster. A con man. Hello. At the round of the This can't have happened too long ago. The blood's not even dry.
A wash of powerful magic carries a pang of hope. Images flash by. A man in wolfskin standing with a group of freed slaves, clasping one arm, one's arm in friendship. Words are not so much felt as her, or heard as felt. Fenharal has false, but falsely named a god, but is as mortal as any of you. He takes no divine mantle, and asks that none be bestowed upon him. He leads only those who would help willingly. Let none be beholden but by choice. This is Fen Harel, helping former slaves as a mortal, not a god. Worship makes you more. He just wanted to help. Fen Harel sounds like quite the rebel. The old elven gods must have simply loved that. Which is confusing because Dalish lore. But if he was a rebel... Now somebody was pure. Torches have been lit. And not a drogger in sight. Another one of these, huh? A uh, wash of powerful magic carries a sensation of bitter fury. Images flash by, elven mages enslaving tens of thousands, making arrogant proclamations of godhood. Words are not so much heard as felt. The gods are Evanurus claim divinity. Yet they are not but mortals powerful enough in magic who can die just as you can. In this place, we teach those who join us to unravel their lies. <laughs> This claims the elven gods were just Evanuris. Powerful, but completely mortal mages. If that's true, Fenarel was teaching these freed slaves the truth about these false gods. Our false gods. Oh, crap. Uh, left trigger and left stick. Oh, ah, uh, no, really, no. It felt like the anchor stunned me. This looks like it fits into that pedestal by the broken bridge. Okay. I can try to get the commands right. I just did, so I gotta wait. Oh, light. This way, Cole, Dorian. Here we go again. What a change of pace from the Winter Palace. A clear sky, a beautiful view, and yes, fields and fields of stripweed as far as the eye can see. Stripweed? Okay. 
Still there, huh? Well, somebody was having a little picnic lunch here. Okay. Can I make sure I have no more listen to listen to's over here? I just came down or up. Okay. That alluvian only took us a short distance. That's the same lake we saw from the other tower. Okay, go on through. Okay. Gentlemen. I note, Kuhn Lot, Half and Common Tongue. Ten more in today. No one saw me. If more instructions, please use second drop point. More people cover the ground soon. It has better cover. A letter by the Kunari. Why are they translating it into our language? Gentlemen, my hand's still glowing. That's not good. this way first. For a reason. How many divines get to say they go into a multiple alluvians?
Okay. We're gonna get everything for that I need for th from those things. Get back to the Saluvian. All okay. Well, that's neat. Oh, more dead canary. Canary. Plenty of hala. Neither do you. Spirit buddies. Where are you going? Who said you could go anywhere, huh? Come on, boys. There's more fighting this way. Hi. Second before Oh, you really want to fight, huh? Don't mind me, I'm just coming up here to kick your ass. That was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. The Inquisition and Tavinza have something in common. Besides rifts? Okay. 
Okay. I'm gonna go look around here now. Explore. Explore. Well, they've definitely made a home here. Plenty of bunk beds. Plenty of bunks, so this was obviously a base of operations. For the cocoon. Uh, plenty of holla. Sorry, I know I know you were eating, but um, just trying to explore this area. Stuck in a tower, great sizzling bolt on blue sky. Afterward, spirits emerge from a statue of a wolf, as if lightning woke them. They appear to be looking for someone. The only world I, word I understood was Fenharal. They did not see me, but beware. If they attack any guards who... Um... Well, I know what happened to him. Spirits got him. Don't want to go into the water, it's deadly. I will insta die. And I don't want to go through another regen potion. Oh, you guys took the easy way. You need me to take the hard way. Oh, where I have to go. So some Kuna were stationed there. Or some Canari. Oh, a golden hala. Very lucky. Ooh, some more silver, right? Okay, I gotta wait a little bit before I can use that one, I guess. Okay, actually, you know what? I'm gonna try it. Okay, then. I just gotta remember that it's here. Okay, by where the Canari were camped. 
on the uh, southern side. Okay, well then. I'm back through here. left in here, so... Dreadwolf keeps his gaze on the one light that illuminates the way forward. To illuminate the way forward, I guess. What's this? Secret place of the Dread Wolves. Um, watch of power of magic again. Former slaves in ranks with Fenral, armed and strong. Their skin is clear. Their the 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 Balasleen are gone. Words are not so much felt or heard as they are felt. The brand of the Ebonurus can be lifted from you. That is all you may know you will pose their cruelties. Or oh, that all may know you will pose their cruelties. None here are slaves. All are under our protection. All may choose to fight. An ancient elven armory. Hidden weapons. These freed slaves actually fought back against the Ebonurus, posing as gods. Interesting word, Evan Uris. If all it means is mage leader, well, they were basically magisters. That's how I feel about that. Didn't be doing anything to that, so it looks like some up ahead. I say we make our presence known. You guys coming with us? I hope so. Too bad you don't understand common.
We got you. Okay, both Kunlot Common. I have read your reports. Station your people in the abandoned Elven Towers by the lake. It is a short distance from its entrance to the mirror that connects to Helom Sharal. We will need to we will need the space to lodge our people after infiltration is complete. Map of the crossroads at the bottom with an arrow from the Elven Ruins Alluvion to the Alluvion that leads to the Winter Palace. This letter says the Kunari came to these ruins because the Alluvions connect to Helam Sharal. It was some sort of infiltration. There's no more details. Well, infiltration is not good. Not good at all, right, dude? He says right. Um, two hours ago, an unknown intruder penetrated our defenses. Masked and cloaked, a mage. Use magic to awaken spirits and turn them against us. Intruder moved as if they knew this place. Fled after spirits awoke. Does instead. Spirits keep attacking. Engagement not reka. Uh, illegible and blood an unknown intruder coming through an alluvian. They turned spirits against us, then fled. A mage. They must have fought their way out, then let the spirits finish off the Kunari. Two parties then. The Kunari, and a mystery agent determined to stop them. Oh, we should find this mystery agent. We have to warn people about the Kunari's design. Um. You know, darling, this place gives me an idea for redoing the small summer breakfast room at Chateau Ghislaine. You have a different breakfast room for every season. A century ago, it was in fashion to have a different room for every meal and every day of the week. When that fad ended, the Dukes of Ghislaine converted most of the rooms to closets. Storage is timeless. Or lesions. Okay, coal, 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 coal. Okay, oh, there's a lever right there. Okay. Okay, uh, Kadari and Mystery Mages. And my hand's still glowing. Oh, um, give me a second uh, before I disappear for good. I forgot. Uh, there we go. Plug that in. VTube Studio uses a lot of power on the phone. And I use VTube Studio as my tracker. For this game, I have it hooked up to BC Face. Otherwise, I use a webcam for my tracker when I hook to Warudo. But because Warudo was having so many issues with Inquisition, I thought, eh, go back to the old method. Makes life easy. One dead canary was bad enough. Now we have more, and they're hostile. This makes no good. sense. The canary may not be friendly to the Inquisition, but they have no reason to attack us. They also have no reason to be here, or using Illuvians at all. I've had the That's mirror true. placed under guard for now. Ah, <sighs> well, 
trouble finding us again. It appears the relative peace and quiet of the last two years is coming to an end. First the Blight, then Mages and Templars, then Corypheus, and now this. Can't we go ten years without the world falling to pieces? We must ensure nope. that the Canari do not disrupt the negotiations. The Exalted Council is in a very delicate state. I'm certain you can soothe the nobles' ruffled feathers while we solve the real problem. Not when the Inquisitor insults everyone present by walking out in the middle I of the had to use the little elf the room. The advantage is that Orlay and Ferelden are divided in goal and grievance. If they unite against us, Divine Victoria will have no choice but to support their claims. We could lose everything. Uh, can we use the Canary? Could we use the Canary threat to remind everyone how valuable the Inquisition still is? I let them is? know that it's around. Not until we know more. <sighs> It will be fine. I will attend to the Exalted Council. And while Josie does that, we will investigate. I'll head back to the crossroads. We need to find out what the Canari are doing and why they attacked. And I'll yeah. have a quiet word with our honor guard. This isn't going to go well. It's not. Okay, I'll go through the Winter Palace again. All that way down for nothing. Must be up there somewhere. We got this. I could see what was being highlighted. Base of that statue. I was going to go right through the baths. Or lesions. A little else room. <laughs> Divine Vivian. The little elf's room. I told you that. I go pee. I'm sure not drinking all that wine at Doreen's party. Just saying. I shouldn't have. OK. 
Okay. There's something in here, if I remember correctly. I don't want to go through the Alluvion just yet. There it is, the book. This tattered book is well worn, as if someone has read and reread it dozens of times. Those who deny the truth are willfully ignorant, for what happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes makes little sense as historians tell it. These men and women are clearly in the pay of those who want the matter silent. Reports of the wreckage claim nothing remains of the temple but rubble from the explosion. Chantry-controlled mages say a spell cast by the Magister Corypheus was amplified by a lyrium deposit beneath the temple, but this is folly. Learned professors and mages outside the Chantry have proven, in many writings, that even superheated lyrium cannot melt granite beams. The destruction of the Temple of Sacred Ashes can only be the work of hidden Ophidian enslavers. The snake kings of the, the snake kings of the earth in their battle against adventurous allies from the moons. I, of course, know about them. As I hope to prove to the reader beyond a doubt, a selection of educational charts illuminating my theories are at the back of this volume. And in this essay, I will... It goes on like this for 400 more pages. Yes, a conspiracy theory. Okay. Everybody? Hello, and shh. I'm trying to figure out why everyone is acting so weird. I mean, besides because Canary assassins and everything. You see it, right? There's something going with the elf servants. Makes sense after that ruin, right? <sighs> Possibly. We'll talk later. Oh, one thing. My new Jenny near Wycom says your clan's doing well. Nice that some things work out, even if everyone's too busy to notice. Oh, thank you. That's why I notice things. That is nice to know. Um. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. I read that part. Like I said, da, da, da. everyone, they never call anyone. Liliana knows something. Knew it. The Inquisition is in trouble. Drank too much. New Jenny always makes me drink too much. We'll be all the fun together. Or part. What city? He picks. Dorian leaving again. Didn't cry. That's what he wants. Elf Luvians and ruins. Ruins can get off. Canary and elfy things. Makes sense, right? Elfy gods aren't even demons? Weird or worse. Someone tell the servants? They seem off. A drawing of the last mural from the ruins. Unfinished. Not my hurt to keep. Is he alright with the elfy stuff? There are many empty pages, and one that is dog ear. One wonder we won't. When wonder we wear wanders whittle. Whoa, 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 words. An outline of a sketch of Dagna smiling. This one is taking some time. Cram. Bull. Wish I hadn't burned all my contacts with the Ben Hasrath. Be nice to have some idea what they're doing right now. Yeah, but then you'd be on their side, Chief. Yes, but I'd know things. I like knowing things. So how are the charges doing? The charges have been with the Inquisition for a while now. Is everyone still happy? No complaints, Your Worship. The Inquisition's been good to us. We'd disband and join the Inquisition officially, but the Chief gets this sad dog look when we suggest it. The loyalty is touching, Krem. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, boss. <sighs> okay. I want to go drop some stuff off. Where's Charter notice? Uh, contain the news of the Canary Corpse, found in the West Plaza. A few servants saw the bloodstains, but we quickly spread mis misinformation about infighting between Orlesian nobles. 
So far as Playoffs rumor is concerned, whoever it was hurt or killed was a casualty of the game, not an outside player. I don't know how I feel about that. I just want to drop stuff off. I just want to drop stuff off. Am I unmuted? Okay, I am unmuted. Okay. Sandra? people become the Viscount of Kirkwall. <sighs> A mystery for the ages. So, farewell. I'll see you later. Farewell. Talk to you about maybe about that next time. I don't think there's any paintings in here. No paintings in there. And you say black wall? Need me for anything? Nope. Until later. Take care. Some people have things to say. Others not so much. Eric. Everything going all right so far? No fan club today? I'm surprised no one from the Council of Heralds wants your autograph. You just missed them. Duke Cyril keeps asking me for spoilers for my next book. Uh, of course he does. Uh, I'll talk later. Oh, actually, have you heard from Hawk? Any word from Hawk? I got a message from, well, best not to name an entire chain of smuggling syndicates in polite company. Anyway... Oh. Weishaupt is apparently the special kind of mess that only appears when Hawk shows up. I'm not entirely sure how it'll all play out, but my money's on Hawk walking away from the Warden's Fortress as it explodes. Probably dramatically. We'll talk more another time. I'll be here if you need me. I want to get everybody's opinion on the elf, uh, on the Alluvians. What's that? So I saw something. Okay, must have been just the uh, magic from that thing. Dorian. Quite the party, wasn't it? I hear it left the Orlesians and Pereldans completely aghast. Always On does. Day's Herald, the Inquisitor, toasting a Tavinta Magister. Not a bad scandal to leave on. Mm. Another time. I look forward to it. I wish I could, you know, do the kiss. And the secluded spot to kiss. Can't. Cullen. Was there something you needed? How's your family doing? Is there any news from Ferelden? How's your family? My sister Mia keeps me informed. As I understand, she's training my nephew to best me at chess. Ah. <sighs> Would you lose that game? I sense a threat to my commander's chess superiority. I'm sure the defeat will be distressing. I, he's four. You could at least pretend I'd throw the game. <laughs> I should go. Well, at least he's pet giving his dog a belly rub. Uh, missing servants. This is unacceptable. I was to wear the red cape with the chevrons today, but no one can find it in the wardrobe, which appears to be in five different places at once. Send Melise to me immediately. Uh, I haven't seen Melise all day, Uncle. She disappeared after setting out her bedclothes last night. One of the palace maids had to help me into my luncheon dress. Now, Lita, you let some sticky-fingered scullery wretch lace up your Montfort silk gown? Have one of the footmen look for Melise and tell him to lay a few stripes on that elf's backside when he finds her. Bees. Liliana, I need bees. Uh, the waiter notes. Um. Thank 
Inquisitor. Is there something I can help with? Uh, well, just saying hello. Perhaps later, Liliana. I'd be right here if you need anything. I'm sneaking into the steps. Divine Justinia. Darling, what Victoria. can I do for you? Goodbye. We'll talk another time. Okay, nobody has anything to say about the Alubians. Well, only a couple did. The little elf's room. Went to the little elf's room. Tell everybody I went to the little elf's room. Hello. Hello, Cole. I wish you had something to say about that. Or somebody had something to say about that. Well, I cleaned up the blood. Can I still climb up here? Yeah, it's good. Whoops. I just want to go see if there's another painting I missed. Any paintings I missed here? And I do not see any paintings I missed here. Okay. Wait a second. Oh, it's a chair. Just a fancy chair. Oh, I jumped. I could have landed on that. Well, time to go to the uh, the alluvial. Is there something you need? Yes. Nope. Okay. What is this now? This way. Guardsman. No reading on duty. This is a very important mirror. To it, I guess. Same party. Path wasn't there before. this I'll find out soon enough Let's I guess see where our horn friends were headed not up this way but I'm going up this way to go darling but still an amusing diversion. I just want to see where it is. It still says Winter Palace. Demons, do not hesitate.
Wow, these things are taking forever. Okay, come on, I want to defeat this demon. Oh, these things are taking forever. Come on, we got this. We got this. We can do this. This thing is going down very quickly. Okay. Okay. Okay, everybody, let's go to the Deep Roads. I know this is the Deep Roads. I know this one. This is the Deep Roads. It's the one I don't really like. Because the Deep Roads. Not a big fan of the Deep Roads. Not a big fan of Deep Roads. Okay, come on. Load the game. Oh, good. Josephine's ready. Not really gonna worry about that. Hi. The Inquisition's here.
Okay. Um, song, far away, deep road, shouldn't be here. Um, elephant statues, dwarven ruins. This isn't good. This involves another titan. Uh, mathematical calculations. Sharp teeth! Well, the last new sharp teeth. I'm not too worried about sharp teeth. Lyrium. Titan. Look at all that. The Kunari have a huge operation here. Plenty of them right there. Let's hope they don't notice us for a little bit. What are they doing? They could bring the whole cavern down. This place isn't stable. There we go, there's a way through. Excuse me. Well, maybe the anchor can make itself useful down here. We're definitely up to something. Excavating that cave in, maybe. Can we just wait for that to uh, be ready? Deep stalkers. Okay, not yet. This light. Okay. Well, let's let them know we're here. Watch your feet, everyone. Uh, many pages are. Many of these pages are filled with sketches of elven statues matching the ones found in the area, along with notes and what appears to be attempts to practice Kunlat. Uh, a bust. You are all are, Ebedim. They all are, Ebsam. We all are. If Fenheral truly has agents working against us, then the Dread Wolf must be laughing at me. The Blight takes my clan, so I go to Kirkwall. Kirkwall goes to ruin, so I flee to the Kuhn. Now the Canari bring me down to the lightless steps. And for what? Because the nursery rhymes I remember from childhood make me an expert on ancient elves. These statues are old. Better shaped than anything I've seen on the surface. Many of them are from Ithal, though... And Fenheral. Not in a spot of honor, but guarding. Tending. Protector and all-mother... Why are you honored here, so far from the light of your sun, of the sun? And why was the dread wolf at your side? I don't think they can deal with some dark, some deep stalkers for a bit. How desperate are the Kunari to work in these conditions? Well, I believe they get something out of it. No 
Great. Thanks, Cole. He's talking about a Titan, I think. That doesn't sound good. No, no, that doesn't. That sounds particularly, um... The opposite of good. Sounds quite, um... Bad, to be perfectly honest. Look, someone up ahead. I think he's human. Well, I'm gonna save right here. Stay back. Oh, wait. Your hand. Are you the Inquisitor? Nope. Odd to find a human down in the deep roads at all, let alone surrounded by Kunari. We don't have much time. Please, what the Vidasala is doing, you have to stop her. The Vidasala? She's the leader of the Canari here. She hates magic. Her job was to study it and stop it at all costs. Not anymore. I don't care whether you serve Fenharel or not. Someone has to stop her. What? Why do the Canari think that the Inquisition serves Fenharel? I don't know. The Vidasala said it and will. You're Dalish. It made as much sense as anything. Uh, We've had agents of Fenharel yeah. causing trouble all over the crossroads. Sabotage, making spirits attack us. I assume the Inquisition was their army. That you came here because Fenharel told you to. So, who are you? Who are you exactly? My name is Jeren. Sir Jeren, once. I was a Templar in Kirkwall. Until I joined the Kune. Your Kunari? Kirkwall was madness. Chaos. Yeah. The Kunari were like the eye of a storm. I stand for order and discipline. Protecting the innocent from magic. But this plan, it's as mad as Meredith ever was. So explain. What do you mean? This Vidasala is not doing her job anymore. Almost a complete reversal, actually. This place is a Lyrium mining and processing center. The Canari need it for... Have you ever heard of Sarabas? It's a mage. Except Canari mages are much more dangerous than those among humans or elves. Even as a Templar, I'd never seen anything like the power Sarabas can unleash. And now Vidasala is giving them Lyrium. A lot of Lyrium. It's part of something she calls Dragon's Breath. There's more to it than that, but I couldn't find out what. The Canari don't like it when you ask too many questions. And what is your role? What are you doing down here? The Canari wanted me to teach them everything I knew about Lyrium. Where it comes from, everything it can do, how we put it <sighs> in use. You're gonna piss off I a Titan. From my time in the Order. They figured out more. I'm not sure how. Maybe they got to the Carter. So... The Canari can't be mining their own Lyrium. It kills anyone who tries other than dwarves. It killed the Canari at first. The Canari workers have a discipline only Tranquil can match. And they're quick learners. They figured it out. Well. That's not seriously the name of the plan, is it? Dragon's Breath. You know that most Dragon's Breath destroys everything in its path, right? She said it would save the South. That can mean only one thing. An invasion. This mine is the only source of Lyrium the Canari have. They're using Gatlock. The explosive powder in the round casks to mine, so they don't have to touch raw lyrium. If you get the primers from Central Supply, you can prime the Gatlock and detonate it. The mines will go up in flames. Well, I guess I'll do what I can. Right. I'll try to stop them here. I doubt my blessing counts for much now, but make her watch over you. And you as well. and cavins will cut off reinforcements, but they'll still come when they hear trouble. You've got to find the Vidasala to end this war before it begins. Run. There's no telling how bad things will get when I destroy the mine. You'd better get moving. I will. Good luck, Inquisitor. Let's go. We have a Lyrium mine to ruin. Everybody's doing okay.
I think they probably would have heard that, but then again... Okay, just some more deep stalkers, it looks like. be dwarven ruins they look like it but they might be elven I mean there are elven statues Stay down! threat all my life. If it escalates, it won't just be to Vinter fighting them. Okay. So listen to Dorian up here. Cold stone, dark tunnels, and surrounded by extremely hostile canary. Not the place I'd have chosen for romantic homecoming I'll take a nice one soon. Spend time someplace nicer when we get food. He was saying we're going to have sex. Don't fall off, Vivian. Don't need to lose the divine. There's one of the mining platforms. Now we just need primers. Okay, that's the way I came. They don't cave the whole place down before uh, we can get to them. This cavern is barely holding together. I see you, Baz. Are you sure? Because I think we saw you. This is 
where they dig. Tricks and trials so the singing stones don't kill them. Hi. How about you get back over here so I can kick your ass, huh? The agent of Fenner all caused trouble in the crossroads. I wish I knew. I wish whoever fights in the name of the old wolf was around to fight when the dark spawn took my clan. Mine is not a question. I have chosen the Kuhn. The Kuhn will protect me. Rathost, you all protect. Rathadim, they all protect. Rathasam, we all protect. These statues are older than anything I saw in my days with the clan. The area is dwarven, though. What were the ancient elves doing down here? Mining? Where were the dwarves? You see them to, to have them mine it. Not a trading post. You don't go over, go into a friend's home, knock over their gods, and put your up your own. War? I don't remember any legends about our people fighting the dwarves, though I remember my keeper telling a story about how the dwarves feared the sun because of Elgernon's fire. A metaphor for the elves of Arlathan driving the dwarves underground? Canary like metaphors. I should, I, I should share that. Okay. Okay. So where we have to go next? Sarabas, huh? Okay. I got a staff. I'm gonna take any loot. I don't think I need the supply cash. Vivian thing supposed to be there, but that doesn't look good. Um, Kunlat, rest in common. Okay. Vidathari Keith, the vast disruption of the Atashi Asara must be ended at once. Hera decreases with each. The dragon's breath must be complete. Locate and eliminate Bas Hissara. Eliminate agents of the Fenheral. Time runs out.
There we go. There they are. We've got the primus. Let's go explode some Gatlock. Sounds like fun. Sounds like a lot of fun. Okay. Come on, let's go. We got more get like to to light. What a well-oiled operation the canary have. I think we should explode it, don't you? Oh yes. Hi, we're here to ruin your day. I hope you don't mind. We're just improving your mining operation. It's looking a little dry. It was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, your soul is dust, so... uh I don't think you'll be able to listen to you. Okay. I think this is the right way. Lyrium. That place. Okay. I don't know if I can get through there. Uh, the walls of Blue Flame were cast by Agent of Fenharal as he ran through the place, bring cast instruction. Do not light fires from them. Do not go near them. Fenharal's mage servant made them to hamper us. And they only bring death. Okay. We're going to take a second then. And just wait for my... Okay, good. I can. Let's pop back up. I think I gotta go back this way.
Okay. There's got to be another one I'm missing. It's getting closer to it. Right over there. This way. That's it. Let's get out of here and warn the others about this dragon's breath plan. We may have to swim out, my dear. Let's hurry. Ow! This way. Okay. Yes, I do, actually. I see both of you. What of it? Okay. This way, I think. Okay. This way, I read them there. Hi! Uh, our Templar brother is in need of re-education. He must be located and returned at Woo. Out, hopefully. Okay. This way. Uh, 
Back up this way. I think it came from that way, so I gotta go this way. So, who gets to tell Cullen and Josephine we're probably at war with the Cune? Anyone? Uh, they're going to kill me. Yep. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to start a war with the uh, with the Canari. Totally didn't. <coughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Well, we got more issues coming up, so... Let's sit tight and wait for more issues to come up. Oh. I'm gonna need a break before the next part. Dragon's breath. <laughs> the Kinare always enjoy their metaphors. But what does it mean? Who knows? Kinari agents moving through Illuvians to attack the South is bad enough already. I still do not understand why they accused the Inquisition of serving Fenerel. We'll find out. Right now, could be just a ruse. Corypheus tried to set himself up as a god. Maybe someone who knows elven history is doing the same. But how does that implicate us? What made them decide that the Inquisition serves this Fenherel? Hopefully we will learn more after we have stopped them. Let's see the Exalted Council try to disband the Inquisition after we've saved them from this Dragon's Breath. We must find out what Dragon's Breath is first. For now, our only lead is the Canari leader, the Vidisala. Which, now we got issues. Great. Gentlemen, my apologies, Lady Josephine. There has been an incident with one of your soldiers. Wonderful. How dare you? It was bad enough that the Inquisition chose not to inform the Exalted Council of the Kunari. Hey. All they would have been happy to help in the matter. But now your own guards are attacking servants. You have overstepped your bounds. Well, I'll look into this, Tegan. Thank you for bringing this to my attention, gentlemen. I'll see to this personally. Thank you, Inquisitor. All I stands ready to assist the Inquisitor. Gotta be diplomatic. As always. Secrets and lies. Do you understand why we fear your Inquisition? You act as if you're the solution to every problem. How long before you drag us into another war? Oh, yes, 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 of course. It's our fault that we saved your... Next time I'm not saying Ferelden. Ferelden can burn. Burn! What's going on here? The Orlesians tried to take one of our people, Inquisitor. We've secured the area. This is the Winter Palace. You cannot simply seize control when one of your guards attacks a servant. The Inquisition is handling this. When some noble commits a crime of fashion, you can take over. I only asked what he was doing. And when I refused to bow to the Inquisition's dogs, you attacked me. How would you like us to handle the situation, Inquisitor? Ah. <sighs> Well, we'll take the guard into custody right now, because, uh, uh, diplomacy. I apologize for my guard's actions. My people will take her into custody, with your permission. As you say, Inquisitor, 
Lord Cyril will hear about this. Okay, I've taken the guard into custody. Inquisitor, I also found this by the barrel. I can't read the language. It's much funnier when she's divine. Did you resolve the problem with the guard? The guard is the least of our problems. Someone smuggled Gatlock barrels into the Winter Palace. Smile, Inquisitor. There are many eyes upon us. At least now we know the true extent of the dragon's breath. Guard also found this. The guard who confronted the servant said she found this note near one of the barrels. It looks like Kunari writing. Let me see. I picked some up from the Iron Bull, though I'm told my accent is atrocious. These are orders for positioning the Gatlock in the palace. When duty has been performed, report to the Vidisala through the mirror marked by a bookcase. Oh, an invitation. How lovely. I've been hoping to meet the esteemed Vidasala. How nice of her to invite us over. Good. While you do that, I will have agents locate the Gatlock barrels and remove them safely. I will also send word to my foreign contacts. We must see where else this dragon could strike. Well, I know my plan. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, barrels of Gatlock have been removed from every wing of the palace. The majority were placed at structural weak points, setting off charges at a time when the palace was almost full, only occupied, as it is expected to be during the last days of the Exalted Council, could have ended in min as many casualties as falling masonry as explosives. <clears throat> All available agents are making constant sweeps of the palace to ensure no barrel is missed, and that the Canari attempt no further infiltration. Okay, I'm gonna put stuff in the inventory. Okay, I am gonna go do potions next. Okay. Sarah. Okay. Do do do. Uh, drawing of the last da da da. Not my heart to keep. Dwarven ruins now. Mirrors can get off. Canary all over everyone's things. <clears throat> Who steps on their old stuff? Not as bad as. Not as bad for dwarves as it was for Dalish, maybe. Varric is fine. The undwarf. Tell Whittle. Proper smart. She'll sort it out. She can burn all the scary. Seen her do it. Still smoochy. Elfie servant, servant, uh, elfie servant still act, still all weird. Felt that things feel samey thing again. But not where we were. Weird. Um, the detailed drawing of Dagna smiling. It looks almost complete. The nose is especially life and button like. Okay. Meriden. A collection of letters, invitations, and urgent messages, and other sundry papers, all addressed to the Viscount of Kirkwall. Someone has folded them into the shape of a Mabari sticking out its tongue. Varric. Gentlemen. Okay. 
And I am going to take another quick break right here, just because I need to stretch again. When I get back, uh, we go to a place marked by a bookcase. Till then, see you on the flip side. Okay, I'm back. Ah. Uh, through the mirror. Take the divine. Seeing one form out of thin air there. They're in all their operations. What is that? That. So that's how the Kunari move the paths. It's old. The stones remember different ways to be, and it asks them to change. Neat. Oh, very neat. Let's just do this alluvial. Got this guy. Coal's down. There we go. Well, we're definitely going to need that, um... A supply cache now, I think. Okay. Almost. And this was the way down. If I remember correctly, it leads me to the glowing stone.
Okay. Going up to this one now. Okay. Let's go through this one. Multiple alluvion. Two broken ones and a whole one. Fascinating. Okay. Wow, a lot of alluvion. They'll hurt the helpless unless we stop them. Okay, let's take care of this. Ah. Got an achievement. Corner. Awesome. I think I've got, I mean, I've gotten that one before on the PlayStation. I probably will play it on the PlayStation because I got all the DLC for it. I don't have all the D I didn't have all the DLC for this at the start. I got the game for like six bucks at a grocery store. In clearance. But when they decided to you know, offer the the stuff for free on the EA app, I was like, okay, I'm taking it. I'm taking it. I want the DLC. Um, numbers, letters. An alluvian marked by a bookshelf. This should be it. Some journal dropped off rocks off a dozen and legends. I've not heard one hit bottom. This place has no bottom. Do not be here if you have no tasks here. Emmett missed the rendezvous. He said he was scouting the lower legends on orders. Understood. No one's to go near that mirror. Uh, do not stray from the marked paths. There are many mirrors. Some lead to danger. Do not linger longer than you must. Okay. Here we go. To a library. Just wait for this to load. Let's wait for this to load. Loady, 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 load, 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 load. Loady, load, loady, load, 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 load. Is this some sort of old elven library? 
It definitely saw a massive magical backlash some time ago. Let's hope we can track down the Vidasala in all this. Yeah. Um, the pages of this book, memory, describe an elf approaching the city of a city of glass spires so deeply blue they ache. The city's outskirts are wrapped in lakes of mist, and figures stroll along the pearly, glowing strips as they walked on solid ground. Groves of trees woven into enormous parks shelter elves in quiet hollows, while the other elves walk below a river churning along an invisible shoal in the air. The scene hums with quiet talk and contentment, as the memory's maker reaches the city's gate, ready, already thrown open wide. Blam! Brain! Um, pages of the pages of this book, memory, show the blazing forms of the Evanuris banishing a howling spirit from the reaches of the Fade that touched their lands. A voice rings out stern and imperial. For abandoning pe the people in their time of greatest need, for casting aside form to flee where the earth could not reach, we declare Zebankek and others of her ilk exiled from the lands of the Evanuris. Beware, the familiarity with shape allows them to travel paths unaided. You may be bound, but all the only protection of your gods will fully shield you from their malice. They are forbidden from the earth that is our right. Oh, one more over here. Um, the pages of this book, Murray? Describe a monument made in a single afternoon by a thousand thousand toiling servants swarming over a lump of fallen stone as large as a collapsed mountain. By the end of the day, the stern figure of Elgernon stares down into a valley carved from the foothill, carved out from the foothills of the rock. The slaves have disappeared. Light radiates from the Idiolon's narrowed eyes and its open, snarling mouth. Hail, Elgernon, first among gods. Mark his victory eternal. I'm going all the way around. The very private diary of Sandal Fedek. Do not read. Enchantment? Enchantment. Enchantment! 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 Enchantment, 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 sandal. And it looks like Sandal had to defend himself. I miss Sandal. I miss Bodan. I miss both of them. Oh, that's making me dizzy. Yes, do that, please. I am study. I am a learning thirst. Come, know what has not been lost. New words, new stories. The Kunari would not approach, but we learned their words as well. If you wish to exchange knowledge, they congregate by the lower gate. Okay. So what is this place? What did the old elves use this place Those for? two look like they're trapped. Dithara, the living knowledge of the Empire. The libraries of every city, the wisdom of every court, a connecting place whose paths are in disarray. Why are the paths in disarray? This place into disarray. The Virtithara was made with world and fade. When they sundered, so did we. Paths broke, knowledge fragmented, many were trapped. I preserve their last words. Okay. What were these old elves' last words? What happened? Where are the paths? Where are the paths? God save me. The floor is gone. 
Do not let me fall. Do not let me. On this spot, that is all. Okay, creepy. I'm looking for a Kunari called Vidasala. Do you know what she wants here? Vidasala, yes. She uses scholars and mages for study. They fear this place, but they seek to know the veil. Why? Does Vidasala want to know about the veil? I regret I do not have more information. I am sundered from myself. If you discover another one of me nearer the Kunari, I may know more. Kindly give it my greetings. I have not thought with myself for some time. Okay, anything you tell me? I learned so much about my people. What were they like? How long is our history? I will try to recall, honored patron, but there are gaps, breaks, greetings, laughter, Emma and Asa, forms out of air, light, memories. And yet there are so many broken parts at every missing, missing, missing. Stop, please, stop. You don't need to hurt yourself. Yes, I... Wisdom from compassion. Yes, I will stop. Apologies. I knew all once. We knew. With the break, only fragments or knowledge knew since the fall. Well then, let's go, guys. of the Kunari recently woke the librarians an unknown person could this be our agent of Fenharel? the librarians facilitated learning before the fracture before the fall now beware them they are unwell great wisdom from compassion call you're a genius there Kunari on that upside down island, they have a camp. They have a camp. I've prepared some of the steps. Let's look around for more. The inverted alluvian must lead to the Kunari. This was once, uh, I can only imagine what this was once like. It must have been beautiful. I mean, honestly. Must have been beautiful. Some are stuck. I wonder how they got there. I don't like the look of that. Interesting. The anchor is reacting adversely to elven magic. What does that mean? I haven't the slightest, my dear. Keep an eye on it. Oh, we'll try. Uh, the pages of this book. Memory? Describe an immensely tall, immensely graceful vine that flowers with the heat of a copper sunset and has blossoms as large as ponds. Petals as long as a man and scents puffing out like citron and sky and carry and death. The day the last of the vines folds, spent and extinct, the creator of this memory weeps, and after recording the flower's sights and sounds, enters Yuthanara. Treasure this thought, for it was the last of its kind, and so much more than the last of me. Okay. Um, this one describes a pair playing, colliding in the air, bodies formed for kissing, stroking, lines of heat as molten as the sun. The dance is fluid, roiling, never-ending. Lovers tangled in a laughing knot that rolls on for years. I promise never to be parted, whatever ages come. An annoyed, an annoyed thought intrudes from one who marked this memory after it was recorded. By the gods, find a private chamber. Well then, mm -hmm. okay, I'm gonna look around all over this place here. Don't mind me. 
Um, this one shows a solemn group of elves in an amphitheater of living wood. Entire trees grown into seats and stairs for the listeners to recline on. Two other elves in a spirit of learning are speaking in turn on ways to bend the pro properties of the material world when casting spells. At the end, the spirit, with the air of a senior lecturer, floats forward and booms in a surprisingly deep voice. The unchanging world is delicate. Spells of power invite disaster and annihilation. The unchanging world is stubborn. The pull of the earth fiercely resists, making fire run like water or stone rise like mist. The unchanging world rings with its own harmony. Listen with fearless hearts, and great works will unfold. I'm not seeing this, you know, anymore. Uh, this one shows a narrow plateau on the top of a mountain. Two armored figures, one in gold, one in black, are fighting in the snow. Steel flickers so fast the air hums. Blood dots the ground. They do not stop for breath. The one in black makes no sound as a blade parts his throat. Mithal in her wisdom interceded in an argument between Elgernon and Falondine. With clever words, she convinced them to settle their agreements through a battle of their champions. Elgernon and Falondin agreed. And set their champions against each other rather than declare war amongst the gods. May those knights long be remembered, and with all his wisdom praised. I'm gonna make sure I get all of them. I think I did. Okay. Let's go through the one on top of the stairs. Uh, be careful, Dorian. You're right at the edge. I'm going to go this way. Fay touched honeycomb. Can I throw this into the the the, the uh, council chambers? I want to throw that in the council chambers. Maybe more bees. Okay, that's the way I came in. This way. It's definitely seen better days. These canary are dead, but there's not a mark on them. Magic. Welcome, welcome. Listen to the last words of those who lived past the fall. How could the dread wolf cast a veil between the world that wakes and the world that dreams? The Evanuris will send people. They will save us. When have you last heard from the gods? When the veil came down, they went silent. What is this veil? What has Fenherel done? Are these records saying Fenharel created the veil between our world and the Fade? If it's true, that means the Fade and the waking world were once one in the same. Yeah, I can believe that. It's going to shatter your faith there. Uh, sorry, Vivian. Now that we have so many samples, how hard would it be to build alluvians of our own? Mirrors to places that mirror what you've seen in those places. Is that approval? 
hard to tell with you. Sorry, I don't know either. After these past few years, it would just be good to create something magical that is also helpful for a change. Or make a fruitless chase for Tevinter's lost glory. Come now. We could visit each other on a whim. Think how much fun life would be if I were always a step away. My dear Lord Parvus, the mind practically reels. If they're gonna stuff me into politics, I've gotta have some fun on the side. <laughs> yeah, good point. Oh, I need Veilfire. On the Veilfire rune. Uh, ooh. Harden High Town. Question mark? Don and, uh, um. Don and wiped spilled ale off the bar, listening to the cries of the birds and the crashing of waves outside. Another slow day on the Amaranthine coast. The tavern didn't get many visitors. That's a little too far south of the Antiban border to catch the caravans, but he hadn't opened it to make a profit. He poured a glass of smoky furled and whiskey and carried it out to the patio where a sandy haired fellow was attempting to play the loot. Or murder the loot. Or murder the concept of music itself. It probably didn't help that the man was holding the loot straight out in front of him as if he feared it were a snake that might bite him. Donnan offered the fellow the glass, fervently hoping it would make the playing stop. Guardsman, you came to my rescue just in time. The blonde man took the glass with a sheepish laugh and all but threw the loot into a nearby chair. Uh, just Donnan these days, he replied, looking over the waves. My time in the guard is over. Retirement is grand, isn't it? No more responsibility, no more seasoned op senior officers yelling at you, no more Kirkwall. The other man looked wistfully out at the birds diving into the waves down the coast. The sun was setting behind them, turning the Amberantine Ocean a deep sapphire and sending the seabirds back up to the or back up, back up the cliffs to their nests. Kirkwall's still out there, among with all those other things. I just didn't bring them to the bar, Tan and Grant. So what did you retire from? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. The man gave a lopsided grin in return. You want to hear a badly told story about a bastard prince with an unholy love of cheese? Eh, why not? We've got time. And while the blonde man spun his unlikely tale, the two of them watched the last light, last of the light vanish in peace. Alistair. Um, Epiphany requires a mind smooth as mirror glass, still as stone. Put aside ten years for practice and the next hundred for searching, and what others have learned will ease your journey. Those who never manifested outside the fate will find it easier to find its stillest brutes, but it is rare the compulsion overtakes our brethren of the air. A uh, heated argument between a group of well-dressed elves inside an elaborately arched pavilion on an island floating in a void. In the distance, hollowed by a blizzard of light, thousands of elves are maintaining an elaborate magical ritual that pulls raw essence from the Fade, funneled into a sphere in the air. Through the lens of the sphere can be see a world of indigo waterfalls and rust-red jungles. A temple palace so frescued and cleverly carved it's a masterpiece in itself. The well-dressed elves shouting grows so loud it can be heard over the magic. One leaps at another, howling and pulling out a knife burning with prismatic flame. Architects of the Grand Sonalium, a gift from Blessed Silees, Silees, eh, Silees, to Clever June as a thanks for a great favor, in a friendly debate over the color of the palace's roof trim. Yes, um, friendly. Very much a friendly debate. These blocks are heading toward that upside down alluvian. It's a place of learning. 
Maybe this Veer Dathara is helping us find what we need. Hopefully. But I doubt it. She doesn't seem like she's a nice person. Probably rather grumpy. I mean, she is Canary after all. And the, and the Canary are notorious crouches. Oh. Hi. Well, that takes care of them. Ruining my vacation. Is it this way? Yes. It was this way. Okay. The pain stopped. The magic here wakes it. Familiar, strong, ripping apart again, all again. Oh, thanks, Cole. Nice to know, Cole. There's a trick to that. I don't remember what the trick was, so I'm not going to bother. Get around this way. Nope, okay. More dead canary with terrified expressions. Well, at least I know the canary that can no fear. Archivist. Welcome, and listen to the last words of those who walked this place. If we get out of here, I will end Fen Haral. After he held back the sky to imprison the gods, the dread wolf disappeared. Lies. We must tear down the veil, the cities, the pathways. Without magic, they're crumbling. You're wasting your time. Fen Haral's veil has turned our empire to ruins. So the ancient elven empire collapsed because the veil weakened magic. Do you realize what this means? What this place is? The actual history of the elves could change everything. Yep. An empire run on more magic than we have ever seen. Perhaps it's best its little secrets remain lost. Yeah, probably. And at the same time, knowledge of that could shake the Chantry's face. I mean, honestly, an elven mage set up the veil, basically. That's what it's basically saying. It wasn't the Vince. It wasn't um, the Maker. It was an elf named Fenharal. Still weird.
Oh, they found their way over here. Um, warn of a terrible danger. A wolf with slaver slavering black claws and pits for eyes. The Evanuris, the Elven God, stand in a ring around it, as if preventing it from attacking. Beware the forms of Fenerhal. The dread wolf comes in humble guises. A wanderer who knows much of the people and their spirits. He will offer advice that seems fair, but turns slowly to poison. Remember the price of treason. And keep in your heart the mercy of your gods. Choir's Veil Fire. Okay. Uh, research notes. This looks like technical notes. What did the Kunari come here to learn? The theorems are familiar. The Kunari are wrestling with abstracted magical theory. Strengthen the veil. All of this. What a pity. The destruction of the library. It's a tragic waste. Actually, I meant the elves. To build an entire empire on the foundation of magic. So did the Imperium. Although we haven't reached the entire libraries in the Fade stage yet. The elves trusted completely that the world as it was would never change. This rubble is the legacy of that trust. I know you want to save the Imperium, but be careful, Dorian, darling. If it crumbles beneath you, be ready to jump. I always am. Okay, I think I go down this way. Okay, discharge. That should be enough stairs. Let's see if we can reach the inverted alluvian now. As long as we don't get attacked again. Okay. I'm going to save. Might be a good idea to see right now. Okay.
librarians. Hello. Okay. We got this, Cole. We got this. We did it. Just in case. Okay. Let's go visit this bit of Sala. Say hi. See if we can borrow a cup of sugar. I mean, she'd be interested in that, right? Okay. Okay, here we go. Survivor of the breach. Harold of change. I'm more of Harold of Bills. Of the South. The Vidasala, I presume. Pleasure to meet you. After fulfilling your purpose at the breach, it is astonishing to hear you still walked free among your people. Your duty is done, Inquisitor. It is time to end your magic. It's not too late to put our weapons down and talk. There's no need to pretend that you're blind to what you've begun. I am no stranger to catastrophe, but this chaos in the South defies comprehension. Isn't that very you pleasant? left your people to curb your own magic. You've amply proven we should have stepped in long ago. So what you gonna so what you gonna do about it? Then enlighten me about the Kyun's plans for us. Do you believe closing the breach solved everything? That its consequences stopped there? The day we saw the breach, the Kuhn decided its action. We would remove your leaders and spare those who toil. This agent of Fenharel has disrupted everything. Lives that were to be spared, lost for him. Who is this agent? Why would you think they work for the Inquisition? Kill the Inquisitor, then follow me to the Darvarad. Oh, great. Magic, huh? Have a taste of my magic.
Cerebus again. Okay, read. Kun Lot and Common Tongue, all the letters are in Kun uh, Please excuse my Kun Lot. Uh, sub its subtleties elude me, even with your patient teaching. We pulled everyone out of the palace. The Shem nobles assumed we were servants, leaving in on the errand. We are hiding where you told us, waiting for signs that Dragon Breath had begun. Victory is in the Kun. No wonder the Kunari translated notes into our language. It was for their non Kunari spies. Okay. Go through this place entirely. Make sure no stone is unturned. And by that no um nothing is not looted. Okay. No chest unlooted today. I'm just gonna wait for that to be ready to go again. Just waiting. Okay. Come to you in a second. Broken mirror. Um, the most born outside of the queue will not comprehend the seriousness of using mages to help us. They believe the worst that can befall a mage is demonic possession. They do not truly understand that the loss of mastery comes with the loss of self. Those of the Kuhn since birth do not understand why we risk using Cerebus. We have immersed them in a sea of magic until it seems impossible they could ever do anything but drown. It is right that we enlighten you so your purposes here is clear. We have learned from this place that there lived an elven mage who saw a great wrong and sacrificed all to right it. This mage made the veil which protects us from the fade. The veil stripped power from his rulers, who had treated their people with such excess that it made, him, made the southern kings and queens look staid. Thus, every action carries righteous. Thus, does every action carry righteousness, and all paths converge. In his greatest magic, the elven mage became an agent of peace through the veil. In our willingness to brave this place, we may discover how the veil may be, can be strengthened through our own mages. For that, we would risk our lives. The Cerebus who have joined in this endeavor understand the dangers and have made their choice. I remember the words of Ashkari Koslun. Koslun. Existence is a choice. There is no chaos in the world, only complexity. Knowledge of the complex is wisdom. From wisdom of the world comes wisdom of the self. Mastery of the self is master of the world. Loss of self is the source of suffering. Suffering is a choice, and we can refuse it. It is in our power to create the world or destroy it. For peace, we will endure any horror here. 
we will create a safer world or destroy the old one. These are Vidasala's papers. She brought mages here to research strengthening the veil. It explains why the Kunari thought it was worth camping here. Nope, okay. B. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Let's go. We've done all we can do here. You know where the Vidasala went? Tell me where a Kunari called the Vidasala went. Yes, we heard much, although she fooled herself into thinking we could not hear. Take a keystone to the Davaran. I will join you there soon and take stock of our remaining Gatlock powder. Well, I have one. I found a keystone with one of the Kunari. Yes, and you need words for their key. Maras Nira. It glows. It will open the way to the Davaran. May you find what you seek. In coming here, you strengthen the parts. I can now raise one, if you wish to go. Thank you. You've been very helpful. Gil uh -huh. was what the Elven called me. One who guides seekers of knowledge true. I was connection. One city could read the records of another. One Elven feel the memories of another. When the veil fell upon us, I marked the end of all they knew. We well, must find this Davarad and corner Vidasala there. Okay, here we go. Where are we? Over here, okay. Wait, we have a Luvian and Skyhold. Well, maybe Morgan took it this time. She was still there, so maybe Morgan took it. Goodness, I hope Morgan took it. Archivist. We'll be going now. Wisdom guide you. Come on, compassion, guide us. Okay. 
Okay, a couple more things I want to do. Okay. Almost. A couple more things I want to do. As long as I don't go right back to cutscene. Which I think I'm about to do. Probably going to do that. Crap. Oh well. Can I go the Darva Rod? Not right now. Your agents confirm there are Gatlock battles in Denerin's palace? Yes, and in Valroyo and across the free marches. The Winter Palace is not the only target. Oh, great. The Canari are one order from destroying every noble house in the known world. Oh, there is a bright side. Warning the ambassadors will remind them of the Inquisition's value. Not when the Inquisition is responsible for that threat. Okay. I take it you have new information. The elven servant handling the barrels has disappeared. Notes in his quarters suggest he was a Canary spy. But the servant was Orlesian. That implicates Orle, not us. But the barrels arrived at the Winter Palace on the Inquisition Supply Manifest. <sighs> How are we supposed to fight a war when we can't even trust our own people? And here, Leah, who? Do you know who got the barrels onto the Inquisition Manifest? Yes, several of the Inquisition's elven workers have gone missing. I had their backgrounds checked. They joined the Inquisition after fleeing the chaos in Kirkwall. I remember when Kirkwall was at its worst. Many of the city's elves converted to the Kune, trying to find a better life. And the Kinari turned them into spies. <sighs> well, right now... We can't change what happened. Only how we react to it now. That'd be calm. I fought to protect the Inquisition in this exalted council. And for what? So we could deceive and threaten those we claimed to protect? Once we locate the spies... This isn't about the spies. You hid the Kunari body. You've all but seized control of the Winter Palace. We did what was right, not what was politically convenient. Do you know what this has cost us with Orle and Ferelden? They are planning to dismantle us as we speak. And perhaps they are right. <laughs> Sorry about the language. Ah, oh, shit. Damn it. We save Ferelden and they're angry. We save Orlay and they're angry. We close the breach twice and my own hand wants to kill me. Could one thing in this fucking world just stay fixed? Nope. Oh, I need to get to the Davarad. You all can fight amongst yourselves once I'm... Once I'm back. Thank you, Inquisitor. Would you... Would you like us to inform the Exalted Council of the danger? Tell them. Yes. If we fail, the Exalted Council needs to know what happened. I will inform them personally. Leliana, I can... No, your job is hard enough already. This is my responsibility. And Collins. <clears throat> I'll have guards ready at the Alluvian, in case the Canari attack the palace. Make a watch over you. Okay, here we go. And that's where I'm going to call it for the moment. I'm going to take an extended break. Um, it's time for me to get some other stuff done. So, I will be back in about, oh, 
uh, two, two and a half hours, I think. Until then, uh, see you on the flip side. Bye. <laughs>